And now let's mess with our camera. And we're going to orbit a little bit so it's a little bit above. And there we go. I might want to make the wipe a little less or a little uh, shorter. So there we go. And that looks pretty good. Now we'll probably want to make this uh, reflection a little bit more blurry. So I'm going to add another blur which I, I'm just going to type in blur over here and use this fast blur and put it on and we'll just increase it to like five or something like that. Now it looks like we need to put push down the top picture first. have a little line in between which I don't want so let's move this one up a little to get rid of that line I moved it up way too far if I press my arrow keys I can move it down just a few pixels so I think my problem here is probably my blur is I'm um, going the wrong way. So I just maybe just change this to horizontal. And now it looks uh, a little more correct. It's blurred on the sides, but it's not all messed up here at the edge where it should be reflecting. So we've got our reflection going on here. But we need something to make it look a little more realistic. So we're going to add a, a light in here. And we're going to go to Layer, New, Light. And I'm going to add a spotlight, and it's just going to be a white light. And I'll edit these. Um, I'll edit these here later. I'll just put that to 50, because I think that's the default. And hit OK. Now this light needs to back off. So let's go into another view like our let's go into our left and pack this light off a lot and I'm gonna go into the top and maybe move it to the side and bring it out here like this and I want it to shine down on it so make sure it's up in the up in the air above it and then shining down now let's check out and see what this looks like now it's not doesn't seem like it's bright enough and let's make it oh. Make it shine down a little more. Ah, click on the wrong thing. Now we'll set the object here to have a shadow. So we'll come down here into our material options and cast shadow on. And there we go. Our shadow's a, a little hard, so let's uh, soften that up. Let's go to 30 and diffuse it out a little more. Let's see what this does. There we go. Maybe increase this cone a little bit. There we go, to get a little more light in there. Now it looks like we've got a light reflecting on here and it's casting a reflection onto the ground. 
let's add an ambient light in here. Their new ambient. I'll just name this ambient so I know which one's which. And I decrease the settings here. We'll decrease the uh, intensity by a decent amount. Looks like we, now that I have the ambient on here, it looks like I'm going to have to adjust my my uh, shadow. And now I've got a scene here that has a reflection and a light and it makes it look like it's a uh, in possibly real life. So the only thing I, I think I do again is uh, make this reflection still smaller. There we go. That looks better. And the opacity of this reflection. Let's bring it down. There we go. And there you have it for your uh, fake reflections. That's how you uh, make them in After Effects without any plugins. And it's pretty much a rudimentary way of making the reflections. And if you just search on the internet for reflection plugins, uh, um, other people have made some that you can use that will probably work a little bit better. But this is how you do it without using any plugins. So thanks for watching this. And hopefully you figured out how to do it. And uh, use it whenever you need to make something look a little bit more realistic. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good one.